everybody, it's Chris Murray here with you, and you might not be able to recognize me with my silly 2012 glasses on. Uh, this is something I've been doing for three or four years now, is getting the New York, uh, the Times Square glasses and putting them on at the end of the year or the beginning of the next year. Uh, this year I wasn't able to get the, the cool, really, you know, authentic plastic ones, so I had to settle for the cheesy paper ones. Uh, but at any rate, this is something that I do every year. It's kind of goofy, uh, but I do enjoy getting the New Year's glasses and uh, parading around with them on New Year's Eve, which is just a couple days away. So I thought I'd bring you this quick video to welcome uh, you into the new year here in a couple days and celebrate with you. I uh, hope you have some fun planned for uh, New Year's and kicking off 2012. In a really super successful and fun and fantastic way. So, uh, happy New Year's to you and your loved ones and your family and friends. A um, couple thoughts that I wanted to share with you on this training video. I am going to start doing, I'm kicking off 2012 with um, a new uh, way of coming out and reaching out to, uh, to you, and that is through video. I'm going to be doing a lot more um, uh, weekly or bi-weekly training videos uh, as part of the email newsletters that I've been sending you uh, throughout the year. So be looking for a lot more training videos with me up at my trusty old whiteboard and uh, in different formats, um, different places, and, and hopefully some fun places as well. So uh, as you can see, my whiteboard is, is full of, of notes and uh, goals and, and all sorts of, of writing. Today I haven't uh, erased it like I normally do from these videos. Um, so you can actually authentically see what I'm up to here in my home office here in Northeast Ohio. And so in addition to getting my fabulous uh, cheesy paper 2012 glasses, I wanted to bring you some um, training tips for what I'm working on right now and what you might be working on, which is planning for 2012. Uh, and if you're not working on planning on your 2012 goals, uh, you should be. This is a great time of year to uh, be doing that type of thinking. And some of the things that I do at this time of year is I always go back and I, I look at my, uh, my intentions and goals for the year and I uh, go through and figure out what did I accomplish that I originally set out to accomplish, what didn't I accomplish, and invariably there's some of those, and why, why uh, and what did I accomplish that maybe might not even have been on my original list. And there's a couple of those as well. Um, so just to share with you, I, I set out some intentions and goals for 2011 that um, were in six different areas of my life. And so one of the ways that I've done my goal setting in the past is looking at not just business, but um, six different areas, which are uh, health and well-being, business and finance, uh, contribution, so what are my goals for giving back to the world? recreation and travel, relationships, and personal and professional growth. So those are my six big areas of focus uh, for intentions and goals. Now, notice that I'm talking about those differently. What's the difference between an intention and a goal? Well, I've heard it described that intentions are similar to goals, but they don't necessarily have as much of a concrete or a measurable foundation. So a goal is something that is time driven, that there's a date uh, by which you will accomplish it and it is measurable in terms of um, there's usually a number associated like I'm going to get five new enrolling families by February 28th would be a goal, not just an intention. Intention would be something like, um, well one of mine was I intend to um, spend time with my children volunteering at a shelter or a nonprofit, and that's not really a goal per se because it doesn't say by when and how many times or how many hours I'm going to spend doing um, the work with my children and, and, and contributing. So that was an intention. Um, so there's just some tips for you on how to think about your goals and you know I don't really even use the word resolution. Um, I feel like that word is really jaded and has a lot of bad connotations around it because everybody talks about how they set a resolution to lose weight, for example, and, um, and a, a month into it, you know, ask people on January 31st what your resolutions were and nobody can remember. So 
I, I prefer the word goal. Um, it's, it's a concrete, measurable goal that's time-based, okay, and that's what you want to do. Uh, and, and I think it's also fine to set intentions because that's um, something that you are intending to do in your life, and it may not be concrete, but it's something that you want to, um, it, it can be something a little bit more uh, touchy-feely, perhaps. So, uh, so those are some, some tips for you on how I do my goal setting. So what I'd like you to do is I'd actually like you to start thinking about setting your goals. And I actually have some homework for you on this video. Your assignment today is uh, to send me your goals. And so what I'd like you to do is send me an email. Uh, my email is, um, is chris with a K at childcare-marketing.com. You should get emails from me all the time and you can just reply to any one of those. But in the subject line, I want you to put 2012 goals. Okay. And I want you to send me your goals by uh, December 31st at 11.59 p.m. Eastern. Okay? So if you send me your goals by Saturday night at 11.59 Eastern, and it could be three or four big goals that you have, or, or some smaller goals. It doesn't have to be goals in every of the all six areas of your life like I talked about. That's just something that I do. But... Um, if you send me your goals, I will respond back. I promise to read your goals and respond back to you with a no. And uh, to give you an A for effort in, um, in your response. So, so that's my promise to you. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm actually doing a full-blown webinar training on goal setting. So next Wednesday, January 4th at 3 o'clock Eastern, uh, noon Pacific, I'm doing a webinar, training webinar on goal setting and how to then achieve the goals that you set. Okay, so breaking down, once you've listed your goals, and I'll take you through the process of goal setting, the process that I use, it's a 10 step process. Then we'll also talk about what do you do throughout the year to break those goals down into achievable smaller chunks and steps and tasks and delegate them and make sure that they get done. Okay, so we'll be talking all about that and planning and achieving your goals in 2012. It's going to be fantastic. So I hope you'll join me for that free webinar. It's a free online workshop webinar. And um, your assignment, again, is to write down, type your goals into an email, and send it to me by Saturday night, January 31st, at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. And I, res I will promise you I will personally respond. Um, and if you, you can just set four or five big goals for 2012 if you want to. That, I don't think you should have 20 goals. Um, I think you should look at and, and you know, read the steps that I included in my easy article that came with this video, which is you know, your first step is you want to really think about what you want to accomplish. Give it, take some time. Uh, take a few hours and, and think about what you really want to accomplish. What, are, what results do you want to have in 2012? And then try to flip those results around and look at what big goals will get you there. Okay, and you may need to let go of some things. One of your goals could be to let go of either some people or things that are um, not contributing to where you want to be in your life. And that's okay too. Sometimes you got to make space for the new stuff to come in so that you can achieve your goals. Okay, so I hope all that makes sense. Um, and I look forward to, to talking with you uh, and working with you in, in detail at, on my webinar next Wednesday and, and working with you throughout 2012. Um, give, I'm going to be continuing to give you lots of success strategies, um, both related to marketing and, and uh, uh, just business strategies and personal productivity, productivity strategies as well. So thanks so much. Uh, I hope that you are poised to have a phenomenal 2012 like I am. It's been a great year here at Child Care Marketing Solutions. Uh, looking forward to another great year in 2012. And uh, blessings to you. Uh, have a fantastic New Year's. And we'll talk to you on Wednesday um, at the webinar. Thanks, everybody.